When I left Australia over a year ago, we came straight to Thailand. And we spent over six months here in this beautiful, wonderful country where I had my first experience of Southeast Asia. So we have spent the last six months traveling all around Southeast Asia, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, everywhere. But we love Thailand and we just have to come back. Well, we actually came back for about a week, not that long ago, but we always have to come back. So we're gonna do so much with our time here. We're gonna go up the mountains. We're gonna go to Bangkok. We're gonna eat some more street food. We're gonna do all of those things. And that is exactly why we love Thailand. So I'm excited to be back in Thailand, but we're gonna start the day and we're gonna go to somewhere that I love to go. And that's one of the local markets here in Thailand. Let's go. been to this market before but I'm really excited to get some fresh fruits maybe some fresh produce and uh, just get a little bit healthier here in Chiang Mai. We have a big uh, market traffic jam going on here there's a song towel. One piece. Oh, one kilo. Oh yeah, just one. <laughs> <laughs> Not a kilogram. <laughs> Do you have a fire? Do you have fire? Oh. Okay. Do it like this? Oh. <laughs> Grab that. Oh. See? Don't eat it? <laughs> Oh, the, the round bit? <laughs> oh, this. Ah, oh, the fleshy part. Oh, aroma. Can I need noi? Need noi? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yeah. Sit back, sit back. Yeah, chains. Need noi. Yeah, perfect. Is that right? Sit back. Sit back, 10. 10 back. What is it called? Lum yai. Lum yai? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> that, was, that was really nice. I ate the skin though, I don't think you meant to do that. <laughs> I got a massive friggin' apple. Like it's like, I've never, it's the, it's the size of my head, first of all. 25 uh, baht, and then I got the lum yai, she said. Um, like le a little bit less than half a kilo for 10 baht. Strawberries are an actual bit of a thing here in the north of Thailand. You can actually go up the mountain. Hi! Hey, hey, <laughs> I have seen you. Uh, oh, have you? Uh, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name? Surasa. What is it? Surasa. Surasa. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Come, come, come. We just met someone who sees me on YouTube. That's awesome. <laughs> we'll say hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Are they all the like banana leaves? Yeah. Oh, it looks cool. I've never seen them rolled up like that. Yeah. So I actually just looked up how to say strawberry in Thai because I can't find them and I was gonna ask, but it's actually just strawberry. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see if there's any down this side. There's heaps and heaps of fruit here. All, all here, all there. I'm at us. So Adika, you have a strawberry? No. 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 Back that way? Yeah. Okay. Chai, I'm in Kukpun Kaa. Oh! Oh, Joe. Found some! Someone in there? Sardika. I think they're trying to buy as well. Yeah, I don't know. Wait. Strawberry? 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 <laughs> 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 This is 20. 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 This is 20.
โอ้สวัสดีค่ะเจ้ามันไปอยู่เอาทานให้เป็นอย่าห้าชิดโอ้ค่ะสวยค่ะสวยโอ้อะไรมากโอ้เอาจะเอามาอุ่นสมการสวยเนี่ย Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say, say, say. All right, we got some strawberries. We'll go this way. Oh, back? Yeah, back. All right, we'll go back. All right, we have some strawberries. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> Left. We're separated. Left. Left. Everything, all of the three things we got were 85 baht, which is about 250 US, $2.50. So just under $4 for us. As Aussies, but I ate, I ate one of these before, so I'm not gonna eat them again. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how this like massive apple tastes. Look how big it is. It looks imported too. That's probably why it costs a little bit extra. Oh, she's crunchy. I kind of like it. So the last thing we got is this packet of strawberries for 50 baht. I think that's a little bit expensive, but I think they might be just that price right now. I'm not sure. It's January, so maybe the season has just started or something. Oh, they smell so good. This is the sweetest strawberry I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's almost too sweet to be a strawberry. Okay, that's the best strawberries I've ever eaten, ever. We have to go up the mountain and pick these. These are delicious. I did not expect to like them that much, but this is such an amazing place to be. Look at this Ping River right here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Here. <laughs> you by yourself, you by yourself. So if there's one thing I've missed from Thailand and probably that I'm known for in Thailand, it's this. Let's go get it. So Thailand or this place in Chiang Mai in particular is really special to me because this is where I had my very first ice Milo. But this man with his stall in the heart of Niman is where I had my very first ice Milo. And coincidentally, it's still one of the best ones I've ever had. Sawadika. So this is still 100% one of my favorite things and what I love most about Thailand. I've had them everywhere. Vietnam, Cambodia, certainly different everywhere you go. I love them from Thailand. I love them. When I tell you I've been waiting months to come back to Thailand and have an ice Milo, I would not be lying. It's also so important to me that my members of my channel have a little ice Milo emoji. They're called the Milo team, Team Milo. So that's how much we love ice Milo around here. And that's why, one of the reasons, I love Thailand. The next place we are going is one of my favorite, actually, my favorite place to eat here in Thailand. So it's actually pretty quiet in there, so I'm not gonna film just because I like to respect the place that he's in. And I really think I've come across a real hidden gem. So let's go get some delicious food. I've been waiting for this all day. So what do you call? Ni Pao, Maika, Mu, Kao, 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 Egg. How do I say Kai Dao. Kai Dao, Kai Dao. And my Chai Ka, Chai Ka, Kai Dao. Take away, Kaban. Uh, here. Yeah. Chai ka. Oh, okay. Kopun ka. Kopun ka. Thank you. So all together we have probably lived in Thailand for around eight months. So we have lots of tips and tricks and hidden gems like those two that I would love to share with you. It's one of the biggest things that I've done so far. So I'm excited to share it. What I will get you to do is if you're interested in knowing all those little tips and tricks from me, make sure you click the link in the description bar below or in the pinned comment and you'll be notified when I release something that's gonna give you all the information that you're after. Okay, so we are on the way to grab some dinner. I'm not driving, so it's okay. <laughs> they won't hear you. Yeah, it'll be fine. So then we're gonna grab, grab some food. I'm not sure what there is, and I'm not sure what it kind of looks like these days. So let's go see what is there, um, and then what we can get for dinner. Oh, Sapa Road. I love pineapple. We might get some on the way back. So let's go see how different these markets are now compared to when we left. So this market only used to be on on Saturdays, but now it's on every night. So I'm assuming that's because there's so many more tourists or people visiting than there was last time. There's a lot of like handmade items. And every time we've walked past, there's been a big market on. But um, not tonight. 
It's like the one night there hasn't been anything on, so we're gonna have to try and find food. Okay, well, let's, we'll have to go to... <laughs> this always happens. So I actually started my YouTube journey here in Chiang Mai in Thailand, and I did a video very early on about Wan Niman, which is here. So I'm gonna leave it on the screen, but it's a very old video, so <laughs> maybe don't watch it. <laughs> but it showed it was so quiet, and there was literally nothing here. So I just walked by something back there, and I forgot to tell you. One thing that has changed is that there is a certain substance legalized here since we've been gone, and it's everywhere. What you call it? The devil's lettuce? Or a, what, long cigar? The nice long cigarettes. If you know what I mean, and they're green colors, so that's everywhere these days. They didn't even negotiate for that tuk tuk. <laughs> the, the, Rookies. The tourists, Rookies. The tourists are back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We, I was there once too. Exactly right. Let's go get some food. I can't get off. There's definitely a lot more things happening here than there ever has been before, well, that I know of. Fried rice with bacon? Good thing. I can't pretend I haven't had some or most of these foods here before, so I've got something that I never have had from More Space, and that's fried rice with bacon. It's um really like soy sauce, like a lot of soy sauce, um, but I like rice. Oh, I actually really like it. Okay, so to round out this perfect day in Thailand, we are gonna go to After You. All of you told me to go there last time, and I never did, so there's a pop-up store in the middle of Chiang Mai. Let's go have a look. Yeah. Honestly, like this is kind of strange because half of these things weren't open when we were here last time or at least not even built. This is brand new. That's like a cha chamu on the corner. Brand new, wasn't here at all. These street foods, not here last time. So there's a whole bunch of new things that are open or if not brand new since being here last time. Oh, fruit. And little stalls like that popping up. We love to see it. Sawadika. The small set. Small set. Chai ka. Uh, butter beer. Nung. And ice eggnog latte. Yen. Nung. So they don't have the Milo that everyone was telling me to get because I love ice Milo. I love Harry Potter. I haven't tried butter beer anywhere. And I love eggnog. So it was a little bit expensive. It was 415 baht, which is probably around $17. I can't read that one. That's in Thai. All right, I didn't, I got like a, this little package and I didn't really know what to do. So how to make s'mores. Place two marshmallows on a stick, toast until golden brown or burnt, whatever you prefer. This is a mess. <laughs> You're watching that. Can't even get the crackers. <laughs> you give me the marshmallows to hold while you do it? No. All right, so the Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah! <laughs> ow, ow. Yeah, give that one a bite. I'm gonna try the butter beer first. I've never tried this before. I don't really know how to describe that. So that's what butter beer tastes like. Smush them a little. Oh, I've got a little <laughs> buck on my, on my nose then. I think it would be better if it was warmer and all the chocolate was melted. And I think it's dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate, so. It's, it's literally just eggnog. I'm not even sure if there's coffee in there. Thick eggnog, very cinnamony. Absolutely delicious. This is my favorite by far. All right, what a good end to one of the best places in the world, Thailand. What a great day. I've loved being here. Remember, subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. And just remember, you can always unsubscribe later. Bye.